you got to tell us what you've been doing and how you've been doing and everything. What's happening in Hollywood? Let me just say, what ain't I been doing? Okay? <laughs> tell everybody. You know, I'm a hustler, baby. <laughs> That's what we want you to know. Okay? <laughs> I mean, of course, we know we got for better or worse going on that comes on TBS every Friday night at 9 o'clock. And I'm so proud of the show in this season and everything. Angela and Marcus is off the chain. Okay? And um, I'm going to start filming a new movie in October, Addicted. Okay. Ooh. All right. And y'all like the first people that I think I've like gone on the air and actually made the announcement. Oh, so we you got know, the exclusive. Y'all got the exclusive right? for sure. Okay. And you I know like uh, you know the Zane uh, novels, right? Uh -huh. Yes. And so she wrote a book called Addicted and Lionsgate have been developing that that script for some time and now they're finally going to shoot it. Are and you this, doing the I'm the not the one getting oh, I was about to day. say wait a minute. I'm not the one that needs the, the sex therapy. I was wondering. I'm actually the one that's helping old girl okay, with the addiction. I play therapist Marcella Spencer. I'm the one that's going to try to help her get through it to, to it. not lose her family and I just love it. Billy Woodruff is uh, directing Paul Hall producing and I think it's going to be an amazing story though honestly because we don't talk about addiction right. especially sex addiction and we don't talk about therapy which I think a lot of uh, some folks might need we, not, we definitely need to start the not, conversation with the African American community. We need that community. discussion seriously we, of course. some anger management some therapy some all kinds just of basic stuff. mental stuff How just to be able to relax addiction from being addicted to, to being a fool how about that? <laughs> some folks are just Addicted they to acting a fool. Uh, fool, okay? Yes, ma'am. How did you hook up with Tyler Perry? Because you guys seem to work so well together with his projects. You're you're always featured in there. Girl, you got a job security. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's a blessing. Like, I feel like all of us need that champion to help us mm -hmm. to break into whatever it is we're doing. You know, you guys in radio, me in acting. And Tyler Perry has definitely been a champion and a blessing for me. And I first met him through Tyra Banks. She was so kind enough to make the introduction wow. and bring Tyler to my acting class and she was a champion for me too she would always tell him you know I know this girl you know she's really talented you should really meet her and this and that and he had come to my acting class and from there I went to his uh, premiere of Medea's I think it was family reunion <laughs> and um, from the acting class he was just like hey this is cool and you know Tyler he loves to work with new people and at the time I had done things like the corner and Didn't you, do stand -up you know comedy or I I did stand-up comedy, but Tyler wasn't familiar with my work because I didn't really have that name, you know. Mm -hmm. And Tyler's like, let me put her down. And after being in my class, he told me, I got this great role for you. You'd be perfect. I just see you. This role is for you. This role is you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it was Daddy's Little Girls playing Jennifer, the crazy drug dealer, oh, abusive man. mama. Uh, and I was like, why was it me? <laughs> why you say it's, it's you? It's he, perfect He knew that you, you could pull I'm that like, out. He knew you okay. Yes, I was about to get offended. Ah. <laughs> but, um, but that's how it all started. And I got to tell you, working with him, it's just been a blessing. What's he, he like to work up, with? Honestly, he is such an inspiration. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, he's an inspiration because he puts his, his dream out there. He pursues his dream. He puts his money where his dream is. He's fearless in pursuit of whatever that dream is. I mean, when you think about his story, being a man that was homeless, and, you know, just focused on doing these plays and everything and believing in himself is such an inspiration from opening up one studio and then opening up another studio. Right. He's creative. He's focused. He's dedicated. That man will come into work at, you know, five in the morning. He'll leave at six to go back to work to write something to then go yeah. star in see, a play. See, a lot play. of folks just see the success, but they don't know how much They don't know how much that. hard how work. How much sacrifice. Sacrifice and dedication. Seriously. He's one of the most dedicated people I know when it comes to his business. He is so, he does, he's not lazy. He will always just get the job done, and I really admire him. If you're that. just tuning in, this is Tasha Smith talking right now, everybody. Yeah. Laying down the science. Exactly.